<laughs> yeah. Everything I've said so far was confidential, but the, the rest will actually be made uh, public. Uh, yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, I think your grant deserves an applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, we are at the moment also uh, working on a proposal at the level of the European Union with new partners in different countries in Europe, but also in Africa, uh, Brazil, India, on trying to get an initial uh, grant for network funding. Um, finally, we're also investing time and energy in uh, education, where the three universities are actually in the process of setting up um, joint programs um, minors specifically, but perhaps later also in the master uh, program. And we are working with other people also, particularly in, in Delft, on a minor on responsible innovation, in which frugal innovations is one of the uh, sub-themes. Okay, now, um, this is not the time to give uh, long introductions. I just want to say briefly something about the program, because the program is basically in two parts. The middle part is a set of presentations, and you see uh, all four of them here, uh, and discussions that are uh, done by people from one of these three universities in the Netherlands, and that have been at least partially funded also by the initial seed money that our center received to, to get us going. Yeah? Um, and two of them will be before the lunch and the other two will be after lunch. And they provide, I think, very interesting but also very different case studies of um, examples that you could call frugal innovation, inclusive innovation, and I'm sure we will talk about definitional issues along the day. I'm not going to do that in this introduction. But as you can see, the first uh, presentation then will be on the frugal thermometer. The second one is on the role of African universities, perhaps as, as learning centers for inclusive innovation. There is a presentation uh, after the uh, lunch on the Trans-Africa Hydro Meteorological Observatory. And uh, the postdoc of our center at the moment, Eva Pesa, will do a presentation on her recent fieldwork uh, in Zambia on sawdust pellets and improved cook stoves. Um, this is all sort of more or less inside, happening inside the center. The other two uh, presentations in the program are two what we call keynote uh, lectures um, that we have organized by inviting people from the outside that have a long track record in doing research on frugal innovation or inclusive innovation, endogenous innovation, bottom-up innovation, uh, whatever term you want to use at this point in time. And we've been sort of searching for good speakers uh, and relevant speakers in that area. And not purely coincidentally, both of them are actually from India. Uh, and the reason for that is that a lot of the early frugal innovation research has been done in India. So there's a lot of attention for this thematic already for a longer period in India. Um, now we want to also move ahead of doing that type of research more in Africa. Um, the first, uh, Saradindu Baduri, comes from an economics uh, perspective, heterodox economics perspective, talking not so much about frugal, but more about frugality issues. Um, and the second keynote, which is at the end of the day, between four and five, is by Dr. Balakrishna Rao from the Indian Institute of Technology in the south of India. Um, and he will focus, uh, he has a sort of a more engineering background. Uh, so also in that sense, we have both these different types of disciplines, social sciences on the one hand and the more technological dimensions on the other. We have them both represented here. He will look at a more technical perspective on frugal innovations. 